Debbie and I have tried to film something several times today, but I'm going to just do a little um, tour of this room in here, and you're going to explain what you have in here, okay? Okay. So, stand up. <laughs> so, show which chair were you sitting on? Uh, I'm sitting on the Louis Ghost chair, designed by Philip Stark. We're going to show you them what kind of salesperson you are, so tell us a little bit about the chair. Uh, it's made out of um, some sort of really, really high-end plastic. So when you sit in it, it actually is not real stiff. It actually has a little bit of movement to it. And it comes also without arms, but I prefer the one with arms if you have the space for it because it's really comfortable to sit in. I have them around my dining room table. Yeah, Lorraine has them around her dining room table. And I mean, they can be used um, in a variety of situations. They're really good here because a lot of people are on the water and sort of it gives that like a clear view or whatever. But it's a really cool chair. They're made in Italy, designed by Philip Stark, one of my favorite designers. And uh, you can't go wrong. Everybody should have at least one. And if they order it from your website, free shipping. Free shipping, so hard to beat that. Uh huh. Hard to beat that. Yeah, they're really nice, they're really comfortable. Show them some other things. Okay. The painting. The painting is uh, by my husband, Peter Stanek. He does a series of um, New York paintings that I believe he's taken the actual photographs of whenever he's in New York. He loves New York. And um, they come in all different sizes. They come in prints. You can buy a print for $45, or you can buy a bigger paint. painting this big in your house is going to look amazing on a wall, as opposed to um, most of what I see people having in their house as far as art goes. Mm -hmm. And then your TV here? The TV is not for sale. Not for sale. Um, and for whatever reason, because I am technologi technologically incapable, I can't get the disc to work. Um, but it normally was playing a little video of um, Ray and Charles Eames being interviewed in the 50s um, concerning the chair that uh, I think the Eames launch in Ottoman. I'll have a clip of you sitting in it now. Oh, you'll have a clip of me sitting in it. Okay, put your feet up. <laughs> Dr. Debbie. Oh, this is where the patient is supposed to sit. <laughs> well, that's why I ask you the questions. Oh, I'm the patient. Oh, I'm really the... I, I get it. I go with that time frame. And so I think this is a TV from the 50s. Mm hmm With a new um, tube in it. Okay, what about that lamp? Uh, that's a lamp. I actually have two of these in my house. It's also designed by uh, Philip Stark. And um, it is a floss light. You know, they're kind of expensive. I'm not sure exactly how much. Real expensive. Real expensive, but they're worth it. You know, how, how, how many lights do you buy? Uh, that painting is an over top view of, um, I think, someplace in Pittsburgh. That's beautiful. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Your dad's a genius. He's a, definitely a genius at art. Okay. This is also Philippe Stark or Philip Stark, however you want to... Uh -huh. It comes in a chair and it comes in a sofa. I have these in my house. Yeah. Green. Lorraine has them on her um, patio or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have them... Um, you have them in every color. I have them all over my backyard. I have it set up a little bit like the... Um, Delano is the idea. Well, the Delano maybe, or also I have a brick area in the back of my house that I have some of these and it looks a little bit like Boston Legal. Yeah, Right. they have them on Boston Legal, yeah. I suppose. So if, um, I think we took the idea of the brick patio in the back off of Boston Legal. You did? I don't know, it looks like Boston Legal back there, doesn't it? Whatever. <laughs> so, okay. This orange foam chair? Uh, that's also cartel. Cool, comfortable. Okay, another Louis Ghosh chair. Mm -hmm. That one actually over there is in a bluish tint, whereas this one's the clear. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I have this too. Yeah, this is something everybody should have a couple of these in their house. It's just like one of those things that uh, it comes four feet, five feet, and six feet. They're not very expensive. They're all under a thousand dollars, and you know. I guess that could be a lot of money to some people, but in reality, it's a piece of furniture you'll have for a long time. They've been designing it since the 50s, 
Right. So obviously it's not going to go out of style anytime soon. No. Good design is forever. Absolutely. I have one in my um, living room behind my sofa, but it also makes a great uh, bench for under a painting. Also makes a great bench for uh, At the foot the of, a bed. of a bed. And um, it's really uh, comfortable to sit in, and it's just good for. I always put my things on there that um, I have to drop off at night and pick up in the morning. George Nelson by... George, the Aaron Chair by Herman Miller. This doesn't look like the right size for you. This is a really big one. This is a C. It comes A, B, and C. A being for somebody very small. B being for someone like me, kind of average. C being for somebody that's really tall or really like a little bit bigger person. This is a C. A little too big for me, but still comfortable. This is my favorite lamp. Right. Lorraine has this in her. Where do you have one of these in your bedroom? Next to my Lorraine? bed. Uh huh. It's the Bourget lamp by Cartel, and we sell those as well. They're made in Italy. The one we sell the most is the clear, but it also comes in black. And there's also a white one with gold on the inside. There's also solid gold, isn't there? There's also I don't really silver. Like the solid gold. Um, we sell more of the clear than anything, and everybody, I would think most people would have some place in their house that it would work. Mm -hmm. I love Bohem stools by Cartel as well. Right, those are cool. Okay, talk about this little piece here. Okay, okay. this is designed by um, Ray and Charles Ames. That's Herman Miller. We sell this also on our website. Um, it is um, just a great piece of furniture. It really holds like tons of stuff. I actually have this in my bedroom for some reason because I have a wall that um, I had room to put it in my house and I, that was the only place I had a spot to put it. And I wanted it so badly that I just put it in, in there. And uh, it holds, uh, for me, tons of documents and stuff. If I ever die, this is probably the piece of furniture that you need to go to to figure it all out. And um, George Nelson Ball Clock, that's also available on our website. This comes multicolored, it comes orange, it comes... Light wood. Light wood. It comes white, which is not really pure white, but like a creamy color. And um, my personal favorite is the starburst one. There's also the Starburst clock that we could probably show you, but I think it's on our website. And uh, they look really good in a home rather than here because our lighting in here is really bad for some reason today. But normally what you see is you see the shadow of the clock behind the clock. And that was really the way it was designed so that sort of you get like a, a double uh, benefit there. Looks really good. And then your little 50 years of Herman Miller thing. Ah, uh, that's just a display. Really beautiful. Can they buy this? Can they buy the display? Yeah. No, that's mine. There's the chair that Debbie was sitting in. It's made to fit like a baseball mitt and you are the ball in the mitt. Very beautiful. Mm -hmm. These chairs are great too. This is another uh, Herman Miller chair really comfortable. Any chair that has like the arms like this, it's made out of plastic so you think maybe it's more comfortable to sit in a real cushy fabric chair. But in actuality, if you did a test and you sat in this chair and then you sat in a really cushy chair, you're probably going to be more comfortable in this chair. Well, what about that chair? That's the first ergonomically made chair? I believe so. And if you watch it like new, the news or any kind of major news network show, they're always sitting in an Aeron chair. Whoa, <laughs> this is a big one. What's my favorite piece of furniture um, in the whole world? Sure. The George Nelson bench. No, I really like that bench. I really like um, the Noguchi table. I have that. No, Lorraine has the Noguchi table. I also have the Noguchi table. But everybody should have a Noguchi table. It looks really good. It opens up the room. The glass top is really thick, really beautiful. I want an oriental rug for my Noguchi table. For it to put underneath mm -hmm. the Noguchi table. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to 
do that. Do you want to see my favorite thing? Mm -hmm. This, the utensilo. Mm -hmm. This is um, by Vitra, and it's also for sale on our website. Um, it comes in white, and it comes in black, and it comes in red. And uh, Lorraine used it in our house in her bathroom for all of her makeup related things. I still use it for hair all. Hair ties or whatever. And uh, I have one in my kitchen. And I have, my husband has one in his studio. There's one in my son's bedroom. And you never, once you buy one of these, you never have to buy pencils, pens, or um, scotch tape again. And you always know where your keys are. Oh yeah, you have that in the kitchen. Yeah. Wow, that's sick that we have so many of those. Yeah, we have them. That's sick. That's not sick. You've saved so much money on scotch tape. <laughs> because Do you want to show these little paintings here? Yeah, this is cool. This is a smaller version of one of the New York paintings. And they also come in a print for $45, which is like almost free. And she's looking at the, that's the Chateau Marmont right. in her sunglasses. And you're not allowed to take pictures inside that hotel. And, well, in the room you can take pictures, but like at the pool and stuff, you're not allowed to take pictures. And why or, is that? Are there a lot of Because a lot of famous there? people and they want you to have like a nice vacation. Right, right, right. Not be bothered by. Mm -hmm. But they're nice, aren't they? Yeah really good it's uh you should look at peter stanick's website your it's husband good. my husband my website. father Lorraine's father he's really talented and um if you don't have his art on your walls you're probably missing out someday i'll do a little house tour because i have some really old big paintings that are amazing